All right, I think we are about ready. Let me go ahead and make sure everything's ready to go. Well, at least the, la the laptop is going, that's for sure. Is my phone, like... I'm gonna have to set my phone up later, then. I'll, I'll try again with my phone later. Hmm? Something wrong? issues. Okay, no, I'm here. Something seemed for something seemed wrong. Okay, uh, let me double check my phone. Okay, it's working now. I, that was weird. I was gonna say connection issues, but mm, no, it was it's not like I crashed or anything. Alright. Alright. Let's get to this. Although I do see one issue. Uh what I will do is I'll oh fuck. Let me change this right now. Yeah. That's great. That's fine. So... The problem was... Oh, I didn't add a death counter, but I didn't die, but I had to reset. I don't know if it should have been counted or not, but okay, so With George What happened last time is near the end I get to him. I get to him with Marth. Marth doesn't need to talk to him I get to this village and the woman says that Basically, you need to talk to him with two ar- you know, he's friendly with another archer. Be like, okay. So, I tried talking to him with Warren because I'm thinking, oh, they have both have blonde hair, that, and they're both bow users. They must be brothers of some sort or something. No, it's not Warren. Okay. But Warren's a hunter. Ryan's a, uh, archer, so maybe it has to be an, an, another archer specifically you know job class right i send ryan up here and nothing it turns out it has to be it has to be gordon gordon needs to talk to him you think it could be caster too but the villager said archer the caster is a hunter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bench julian Gordon in. Does that mess with anything? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. It does change something. Oh, I keep forgetting to, like, throw those in storage. Okay. It does change some things. But hopefully not much. It does change enough. Well... On. I kind of- I kind of like the formation that I have. Ugh, this is why I don't like... Uh, this is why I like being able to just rearrange... You know, as I, uh, see fit on the select screen. I don't like how I have to do some roundabout nonsense. Actually, it was 
this, this. There, that looks right. Part of it is just what I'm used to. So I'm used to some of the strategies. There we go. Gordon's up here. He can go ahead and buy the Armor Slayer. There we go. There. It changes things only a little... Like, it doesn't change my original strategy, but I just want, you know, Katria to be able to go over here and help out. Strength, skill, weapon, defense, and HP. Yeah, so she has a strength of 12. She's almost capped on weapon level. She's almost there. So, like, other than strength, her stats that need to be boosted are her defensive ones. Cheetah's moving down here. Okay. Uh, Navar, I'm actually gonna move over here, and because I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. Uh, Ryan can go here and make sure he has the iron equipped. Warren can go here. Marth goes here. We are going to dance. So we need to get Gordon all the way up to get uh, George recruited. And we'll make sure to get them. We were able to get the manual before Harden even got close. And also, there's nothing from these heroes that I could even want. Yeah. Astrum is here. And the fact that he could drop the Mercurius Sword is implying you could theoretically beat this. The only way I could possibly do that, though, right now, is I would need to take Agma and promote him right now. That would be the only way I could make it work. Here. I want both my, both my calves here. Lind. Drog is here. And I think everyone else just kind of waits. Alright. Yeah, the generals are on the move. After Katria and Katria dodges both times. Oh, thank you. The thief moved to a better position. Marth goes here, visits the village. Hey, Bantu's here. Where's Tiki? Oh, she's gone. Well, I gotta stick with you, don't I? Yeah, Bantu's actually pretty good. In terms of, like, just having a dragon is actually really useful. It's just too bad his growth sword just garbage. But that's kind of the point of him. Actually, I almost want to figure... I actually want to know his stack grows. Because I'm... I know he's supposed to be bad. But I want to know how bad. Alright, 
we're gonna have Bonsu go ahead and transform. Shards page. Okay, I want to pull up characters. Alright, uh, Bantu. Let me look at Bantu. Shadow Dragon, Blade of Light. That's not what I'm looking for. Mystery of the Emblem. Okay. And Book 1 at the very least. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no wonder. In book one, his HP, skill, and luck growths are at 10%. His, re his resist is at 3% growth. His strength, speed, weapon level, and defense are a 0% growth. So, honestly, like, Bantu is just not going to be growing. Is it any different? Book 2 looks the same thing. Yeah, Bantu looks about the same in Book 2. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, you don't use Bantu because he will not level up. Like, that is just not something that's not going to happen. Weapon level, and we got the Leo. That's the strength boosting one by 50%. We are going to dance Bantu because he's going to help out. Hey, having a dragon is still very nice to have. It's just you don't want to like prioritize using Bantu unless you give him shards. You could just give him shards. Okay, let's see. Over here, I had Katria weaken this guy. Or if she gets the crit, she just gets the KO. Yeah, okay. So then, where's your ring? Okay, I'm safe, basically, so I can kind of hand this to anyone I want. Uh, I am going to hand it to Nafar. We are going to go with the steel. 18 times 11, 7. He needed one more point in strength. Let's see if we get the crit. Nope. Dodge. Dang it. No dodge. No dodge. Ah, uh, Navarre, you need an extra point in strength. Agma, you got this. Go ahead and use your steel. At least Ogma has, like, all the better stats right now, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, okay. You have HP of 12. You know what? Can I hand Warren this guy out? No, not really. Man, I can't get Warren to do anything. Actually, I can't get Ryan to do something. Attack speed is zero. I could double. With an attack of 17. 16. He could do it. He could do it. And with the crit, too. Perfect. I'll, I'll get Drog out of the way. Here, I am going to Gordon go over here. And 
I think I'll leave everything open. I want Lind close. Everything else is fine. having some trouble. Remember that. He's been having trouble. I think Navarre needs to back out and heal. Uh, Ogma. goes here. We equip the armor slayer. We have Bantu go here. Let's get the bellow here. We trade over the armor slayer. Might as well heal. Get some healing in. Okay. Now we dance Marth, get him closer. movement, uh, Gordon's gonna take a little while, but now that I know that Gordon needs to head up here, we can just have him rush. And also, this sniper doesn't seem to move. Hey, Hot Corn Dog, uh, it's going well. How's it going on your end? This is the first attempt of this chapter for today, and because I now know that Gordon needs to be in the team so we can recruit George, I brought him in. So hopefully, it should go well, because that was really the only problem on the last attempt. Actually, so here's the thought, Hot Corn Dog. Last attempt, I didn't add the death counter, because no one died, but I did reset because I didn't bring Gordon. Do we count that as a death counter, or do we just leave it as is? I, I'm not sure. It was a reset because I didn't bring the right person, but no one died. What do you think? Don't count, no one died, called death counter for a reason, right. Granted, I made the death counter when I was playing Kingdom Hearts, so it was a, it was a, uh, specifically made for that, I just repurposed it. By the way, I decided to look at Bantu staff, stack growths because I knew Bantu like had bad stack growths, right? And that's the reason why you don't really use him long term. Even though as a dragon, he's not bad. It's just that he's not going to get many boosts. And when I looked up his, st his stack growths, it makes perfect sense. Uh, his HP, skill, and luck have a 10% chance to grow. His strength, speed, weapon level, and defense have a 0% chance to grow. And his res has a 3% chance to grow. This is why you don't actually use Bantu that often. Granted, like, he is getting uses, so it's not like it's impossible to use him. 
But yeah, that's why you don't really use Bantu. Okay, let's see. How do I want to handle this? Bantu can get the fire breath. I could have Bantu do this instead. Not get attacked back and still deal 22 damage. Granted, he is an old man. So, I understand why he's not that great. I'll only be dealing like 8 damage. So... Actually, here's a thought. Let's get Draga out of the way. Katria, can you actually do something? Let's say the steel right now. 22 to defense of 17. Um, yeah, uh, okay, she would need the silver. Defense of 17. She can do this. Going fine, but playing Dark Souls 3. Doing a mage build. It's going kind of bad. No problem being anything. But you're so used to melee and hitting things with something big, dodging attacks, and you never have to worry about mana. You're dying to things, you never die because. And, and you're stuck among the main bosses because of high magic resistance. Oh no, magic resistance. Uh, that's just the new challenges of trying, like, a completely different build, you know? Stuff like that is just going to happen. Still on this layer. But yeah, uh, it, need, it now needs a different mindset. Oh, good. You've already dodged. Yeah, so it's, it's just going to take uh, getting used to. Skill and luck. Good. Actually, what I could... Oh, wait. No, I can't really use Lind. Wait, maybe I can use Lind. If I do this. Attack of 22. Res of 3. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Good. I am going to have you heal. Magic build does have melee spells, but the cast time makes it to where you have to time attacks rather than bonk and roll. Hmm. Definitely a different mindset. It sounds like it, it's almost an interesting challenge, though, to try to... to try to do. And you know what? How about in the meantime, we try to give Warren some uh, use. Oh, thanks for the follow, Rexy Rex. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the emotes. Right now, we are almost there. Armor Slayer. Perfect. How's it going, Retsy Rets? What's going on? We got skill, luck, and weapon level. Agma, you're doing great. You just need more strength, but I think cancer just gives you more defense. I think that's what ca cancer does. Uh, yeah, cancer gives you a 50% boost of defense trying to make him more tanky, although he does need strength as well. But what I'm going to do, that's the only last strength, right? Yeah. The upper area is mostly clear. You just need one more square. Alright, we'll be here. And Fina's gonna dance Sheeta, so we could trade over the Leo to Navarre, because he needs it. Perfect. 
Legends. So yeah, this is uh, my first playthrough of Fire Emblem 3, and we're on Book 2, Chapter 8? Chapter 8. There we go. That. And Marth, uh... She's gotta go there. So that's about all I can do. This is probably my, uh... What was it? I'm trying to think how many times I actually tried this map. Let's just say five, fifth attempt in total, because I don't remember. I could have made it last time, but I didn't know I need to bring Gordon to recruit, recruit George. So that's why I have to do this again. First time. This is the first time I am playing this particular game, Red Sea. Uh, I have played actually every other Fire Emblem game. Uh, granted, I have not played the remake of New Mis of Mystery of the Emblem, but I still kind of count this. I have played Shadow Dragon, but not Gaiden, but I still kind of count it because it's the same plot. If that makes sense. But other than that, you know, this is my fir this is the first time I am playing Fire Emblem Three, and I have played basically every other Fire Emblem game. Leo do? Oh, Libra. What did Libra do? Speed, luck, weapon level bags, right. And Warren definitely needs that. Yeah! Yeah, I have beaten FE8 with, like, very low tier weapons. It, it was more, more interesting than you'd think it would be. You know what? He didn't get hit. I might as well let Warren go ahead and get hit. And that was on stream. If you are curious, there's a link to the Archive YouTube channel in the About page. Tr uh, you'd think the final boss would be simple with uh, a bishop with the Slayer ability and some, some good old holy magic. No, it isn't that simple. You'd think it would be, but it isn't. Here. Now we could now we could just rush up here and try to get rid of the sniper. The only other unit I need to try to get rid of is this one. The manual. Oh, Ryan can stay there for now. I think everyone else just needs to move up. go here and then I could dance more. Oh yeah, what Fire Emblem games have you played, Retsy? Yeah, what was the... Uh, the Moonlight Greatsword. It's a magic sword that scales off intelligence. It sounds useful. It's a great sword, probably. It sounds like a good melee weapon, but maybe maybe you don't need to rely on it. Like, as a mage build, even though that's useful for your build, Hawthorn Dog, maybe you need to still treat yourself as an actual magic user that sometimes needs to get close up, if that makes sense. Played Fates, Heroes, Three Hopes, okay. And you're playing Three Houses. Okay, okay. Interesting lineup. Uh, why'd you pick uh, Three Hopes first, if I may ask? Because that's the Warrior spinoff. Are you just a fan of Warrior stuff? Uh, Warrior stuff? Kind of new fan, loving the saga too much. Ah, okay, okay. So, like, uh... Oh. Ad's... Oh, no, Ad's not playing just yet. But, uh... If I can make some recommendations... Uh, the other two 3DS games are... Since you already played Fates, Awakening and Shadows of Valentia are good picks. I would say... 
Okay, we got skill speed, weapon level, and HP. That should help with his attack speed, which he desperately needed. Uh, there we go. Now he can double guys at zero. Terrible power creep, a lot of FOMO fan service. Uh, so bad. Are you gonna are you gonna pull for the new banner? <laughs> Pretty much. That's just how any gotcha game is, isn't it, hot oh, dog? That's just every gotcha game though. Your father gift you hopes first, then you bought three houses. I see. Hopes of waking interest in the saga. Uh so here's the thing. Three houses is a good deal for how much you spend. Like, there's a lot of content you could get out of three houses. It's insane. Uh, so it is definitely worth the purchase. I just hope you like playing the first half of the story to get to the new content. Uh, Bonto can stand here and heal for now. Uh, I think I'll have Katria go here start attacking. But no, three houses is a very good pick. But yeah, I can recommend Awakening. I can recommend, recommend Shadows of Valentia. Those are the other two 3DS ones. There is Fire Emblem Engage and the ad's playing. I'll wait for the ad to finish. Silver bow. Go in storage. And now Gordon needs to move. What is your range? I'll answer that once the ad is done. Weapon level HP. And Gordon goes up. Five, four, three. Okay, the ad should be done. Uh, yeah, do I play Heroes? No, well, I have a Heroes account. I don't really play it, though. I don't... I don't know, like, after... There was a point where I was, kind of. But after a certain point, I just kind of stopped playing, right? Mostly because I found a different uh, gotcha game that I really liked, but too bad that shut down and for no reason. Uh, but, like, every time I try to go back to Heroes now, it, there's just too much stuff, and I don't know what I need to do and get, so I just kind of lose interest basically immediately. So, at one point, I kind of did here and there, mostly to connect, collect characters and, you know, get characters to level 40 sort of thing, but it's now, there's now too much stuff for me to keep track of that I just can't. And I have very little interest to get back into it, honestly. There's just too much to consider for me. And I also just really hate a lot of the gotcha systems in terms of like the like the stamina system. Be like, 
oh, I want to spend the time, like, level grinding, right? But nope, the stamina system exists, meaning, like, no, 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 you have to stop playing unless you use this item if you want to keep going. And I'm like, okay, I have a bunch of these, sure, but I don't always want to just have to use them. I'm just not really a fan of the entire system in general. It's nice the fact that the heroes that are now in the game are too broken to keep up. That's another thing. Power creep was a huge factor, too. And I'm not a... In general, I'm just not a uh, skill issue. You just do what you want. You win. That is true. That is kind of true sometimes. I'm also just not really that big into competitive playing. And because that whole thing is about PvP, I just lose interest as well. Because it's all about getting the new units so you can do good in PvP. And then a new character comes along that breaks your current build, so you have to create get new characters to beat that build. And I'm just like, I don't care after a while. And again, there was a point where I was playing a different gotcha game before it shut down. And because I really was into that one, it took all my focus. I really only had the attention span for one ga for one gotcha game to focus on. And now that's shut down, sadly, uh, I still haven't gone back to any other ones, so in some ways I have to do. Alright. Talk to George. Mr. George! Please wait a second! Huh? Gordon? Long time no see. You appear stronger, but has your archery improved? Yes, right now, I am recognized as the finest archer in Altea. It was all thanks to you, Mr. George, that I could become that I could become this strong. So, did you come all the way here just so you could duel with me? What? what? Of course not. This might sound silly, but could you come with us again? Please, Mr. George! I already swore an oath to Nina. But I can't stand Arden. He used his might to threaten other countries and executed anyone who opposed him without question. Arcanea's army right now is just a bunch of paid savages with no dignity of a knight. I will draw my bow against my own country to bring back the kingdom of, Ar of Arcanea of old. Gordon, I hope you could pass on my thoughts to Prince Moth. Thank you, Mr. George. And we got George. And a good bow. And guess who's being benched right away? But we got the Sagittarius. What does the Sagittarius. Hey, Molly, nope. Dog heard like a car or something. Oh, and FedEx again. No bark. Anyway, uh, Sagittarius, what does that do? 40% uh, chance to boost skill, 10% chance to boost speed, but a negative 10% chance to boost HP. Uh, however, as I'm looking at this, it is the best one to boost skill with. So in that aspect, it is not that bad. Yeah, she, she's barking at, barking at a uh, mailman. What else is new? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Let's see. Uh, Emblem Ike, he's kind of cracked. We need a good mage to take him out. It's like a demon lord. And every low tier weapons you need Arter. You'll need Arter with the best light book to take him out. Oh, really? Going more towards the collector side. I'll uh, be going up for three houses and three bubs. Again, that's kind of how I played. I just wanted the characters and then made them five star to get them level 40. So I basically fill out that uh, collectorpedia thing. But after a while, because of the whole stamina system, it made me not want to grind sometimes. So, yeah. George sucks in heroes. You mean like a build? You're working on Buy Left Duo. Oh, okay. Uh, how does George suck in Heroes, Hot Corn Dog? Mm -hmm. 
Hunter and Edelgard. Okay, let's see. Uh, Winter Byleth and Winter Edelgard. Okay. I think we'll just have Ogma grab the KO. Because I don't think Ebello can. No, not unless I dance. I think we'll just let Ogma have this. got the manual. Oh yeah, one thing I was saying is, uh, Retsy, since you have a Switch, uh, there is Fire Room to engage. It's like, story-wise, I cannot recommend it. At all. It is bad. Uh, it has the Heroes problem, where it will reference a bunch of old stuff, so it means more if you played the games, but maybe it could be an introduction to those characters for you to see if you are interested in some of these older games, so take that as you wish. However, the gameplay in Engage is good. Gameplay in Engage is very good, story sucks though, so that's my quick review of Fire Emblem Engage. But gameplay-wise, I can recommend it. Story-wise, no. He is old. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, so he needs a a full-on rework. You have stuff to make him viable, but you don't care about George enough to work on it. Makes sense. Yeah, no problem. You don't like the story too much? Don't worry, no one likes the story in Fire Emblem Engage. It is bad. I'm not joking when I say that Fire Emblem Engage's story is like bottom three stories in Fire Emblem. Right there with Fates. Alright, let's seize the castle because, like, I can't beat Harden. You're not supposed to beat Harden. I'm not going to bother taking out the generals. And all this is just a little much. So let's just finish the chapter and move on. Your Highness, please hurry. The pursuers have already arrived. But everybody is still fighting. I can't just leave them. Don't worry. They will all escape safely. We will all meet up in Caden. Well, Your Highness, please get on board the ship. And we finish Chapter 8. Make a save. By the way, I am playing this with Retro Achievements. And I forgot to show the last few that I've gotten. Uh, let me take a... Oh, let me refresh the page first because I just got this one. Uh, the last few I've gotten was... Complete Chapter 7, Complete Chapter 8... Uh, we got... Well, technically, that's book one or two. Um... Did I get anything else? Or was that really about it? I think that might have been the only new one I got. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> After much struggle, Marth finally escaped and arrived on Caden's sword. He then waited for the rest of his troops to catch up. The magic city, Caden, is a sanctuary for mages. Many prospering mages go there to undergo ver vigorous training. The basis of sorcery relies on sealing nature's, of sealing nature's hidden power into tomes and staves, and freely using those to harness great power. Hundreds of years ago, a sage created an academy here and taught his life teachings to people. However, originally designed to bring happy happiness to people, magic was used in conflicts and was brought and was bought and sold in masses. The sage was disappointed and disappeared without a trace. Although it seems hard to believe, some people say that sage was Arcsage Goto. But right now, those who can wield tomes and staves are limited to a few high bishops. But even they can only use weak fire and heal magic. Powerful magic like Aura cannot be created without the power of spheres. Oh really? That's some lore. 
Also, those who can wield such powerful magic are limited in number. This was chosen to be by the will of its creator. Magic City Caden, a proud and almighty sanctuary of sorcery. The gameplay would speak well. It's like Fallout 4, where the story is weak as fuck, but the gameplay is hard carry. Uh, the supports, I feel like, have been nerfed quite a bit. I heard there isn't... There isn't New Game Plus. No, there isn't New Game Plus, but not every Fire Emblem game needs a New Game Plus. But no, uh, the gameplay in Engage is really fun to mess around with. Like, there's so much customization to to work with and engage that you could play the game multiple times and have completely different builds and use the the rings in completely different ways and then if you throw the dlc ones in the mix that's a lot more to actually use trust me the gameplay and engage is really fun to use it's just the too bad too bad the story kind of sucks you have swarm and mend you have a speed ring, and the boss is a guiding ring. We have a bunch of Draco Knights. I'm not a fan of that sight. You're gonna need archers for that. Okay. Oh, there's some treasure over here. And one village. Okay. Wait. Is that a thief staff? Thief staffs exist in this game? Interesting. And Dragon Whip. The DLC, um... And that's kind of a weird... I... It's weird. Because, like... You get, like, seven new... Actually, wait. Actually, you get about, give or take, ten new emblems to use so that means more customization can be gotten and then there's the dlc story which gives you some characters if you want and by the way you could do these dlc maps at like chapter six so you can basically play the entire game with this new stuff uh so you could get some new characters by doing the dlc exclusive story You'll have the DLC emblems to mess around with to customize your characters. And also, if you beat the DLC story, there's two new job classes you can you can play the game with if you want. So... But I believe it's like 30 bucks, I believe. Uh, in some ways, I say yes, I think it is. But it depends on what type of player you are. Uh, I did play through Fire Emblem Engage, as well as its DLC. Again, the YouTube Archive channel has it, if, you're, if you want to go look. Uh, I did the DLC later when all of the DLC came out, and I wasn't playing it as it came out. So, like, the last few videos was specifically about the DLC. Uh... It's one of those things where I feel like I can recommend it if you are someone that is willing to play the game multiple times to try out new emblems. But at the same time, maybe you might want to consider just playing the base game as it is, get the DLC later, and then if you ever decide to play the game again because you like the you like the gameplay, then get the DLC early on your second playthrough. Maybe, how about this? I'd probably say play through engage base as it is, and if you like the gameplay, then consider getting the DLC if you also plan to maybe play the game a second time. Because that's mostly what I would buy it for, to get the new emblems so you could play the story again with completely different strategies. But I would only recommend it if you actually like the gameplay to begin with. I think that's probably the best way to... Uh, I think that's the best compromise. Uh, let's see. I don't... No, yeah, I need Julia. I need Julia. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I want Bantu with me? 
if I were to take Bantu, who will I bench? Um, Drog? I could try to give him a couple more of these, though. We're kind of at that limit. We're kind of at the limit of who to take. Oh, and I don't really like using you, Bello. Well, anyway. Uh, let me go through my items very quick. Okay, hold on. Uh, trade over the heal. There we go. You're fine. You're fine for now. You have the Firestone. That needs to go in storage. Don't have strong stories. You mostly played them for gameplay. When I hear three ha houses got a decent story, you wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, it's like the ones with the better stories are like three houses ha is more compelling. Uh, and Genealogy of the Holy War is one that usually is cited to have a better plot. Okay, Lipa. Ankma has the manual that can go in storage. Probably get it anyway. Right. It's just some thought, uh, something to think about. Okay, you're fine. Navar is fine. We're gonna try to give him some strength boosts. Julian's here. All right. Uh, wait, does Gordon have anything? No. Bantu, do you have anything? No. We're good. We're good. Let's make a save. All right. Let's see how this goes. So many Draco Knights. Minerva, if you wait in this village, you should be able to. See, you should be able to meet Mark. Although I don't like that boy, he is indeed a heroic caliber. He is indeed of heroic caliber. You should aid him. Brother, what are you going to do next? If possible, you should come with us. I don't plan on doing that. I just want to find Maria and bring her back to Medon. Brother, if you change, you've changed. Or should I say, you've changed to how you used to be. So you truly were under the control of Garnef's dark magic. No, it wasn't that. Wanting to destroy that prideful Arcanea and allow Medon to become the conqueror of this world was my own idea. I originally planned to ally with Deluna to destroy Arcanea, and then later join forces with the Gras Kamu to defeat Deluna. But Father didn't agree with me, and finally he sent me away. So that's why you killed father. You idiot! Don't you know that it was a trap set by Garneth? Father was indeed very strict towards you. However, that was because he loved you. Why didn't you understand? That is enough, Minerva. I'm not stupid. When I was struck by your lance, I was just outside Death's door. Struck by- I don't remember using Minerva uh, to actually kill him, so that- Inconsistency, maybe. Later, when I was when I found unconscious in front of me, I saw a crying Maria praying to the deities. She saved me by selflessly and tirelessly taking care of me, even though her face was completely in tears. I don't believe in deities, but at the time, she truly looked like an angel. The way I treated Maria, and yet she still cried for me. I must rescue Maria. That is the only thing I could do to repent. Micaias. Micaias, whatever. He has dementia because I don't remember actually ha attacking him with Minerva. Minerva couldn't deal any damage to him. Jagan, everyone appears to be safe. That's great to see. But your highness, what should we do next? Hmm. I want to return to Altea, but if we don't defeat Harden, we won't be able to save it. What on earth should we do? Please, wait a second. I'm just- I've just received some news. What? Your Highness, there's trouble. Caden's mag mage army has launched an attack on us. It seems Caden has allied with the Empire. Huh? Even Caden views us as enemies? What is Merrick doing? Your Highness, we've got to do something. Even though we'll probably have to make some sacrifices, we should charge straight for the temple. Charge, charge straight for the temple. If we don't hurry up, Arcanea's pursuit squad will appear from behind us to prevent us from moving 
Oh, we're gonna be surrounded. We're still being chased by Astra. Okay. I understand. There's no choice. Troops, charge into Caden Temple, but try to avoid needless battles if possible. Interesting. So we got a little, we got a time limit. There's gonna be reinforcements down here. So let's see. We do need to do. We do need to deal with these mage. Uh, Julian can head over here, but Mark needs to head up here. Everyone else, on the other hand, has to head over here. We got some villages up here, or houses, I should say. Some shops. I don't know if there's anything too special that these guys draw. I think most of them are the thieves. But yeah, other FE games I could recommend, Retsy. Uh, honestly, any of the three GBA games are good recommendations. If you're willing, if you want to play those. Men speak me. Like those are easy recommendations. Genealogy of the Holy War, FE4, that's a good one. And uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, Path of Radiance. Uh, the one on GameCube, I could easily recommend that. I mean, all of those I can easily recommend. But since you're, you, I know you have 3DS and Switch, maybe target those first. Awakening, uh, Awakening, Shadows of Valentia, and maybe engage if you feel like it. Catria, oh wow, Catria is low on stuff. We're gonna need to buy stuff for you. Julian needs to head this way. Marth, you also need to head this way. Path of Radiance was the GameCube, Radiant Dawn is the Wii version, which is a direct sequel. I personally like Path of Radiance more. So I can easily recommend that one. Radiant Dawn, not a bad game, but it has a different structure that in some ways I'm not really a fan of. Not to say it's not worth playing. Okay, and let's go ahead and let... I'll let you go over here. Yeah, that is true. Path of Radiance is a reasonably priced game. Very reasonably, I assure you. It really needs a Switch remake. <laughs> kind of like how, uh, kind of like how Thousand Year Door got one. You know, it definitely helped with prices as soon as it got the remake. Let's have Navarre go over here. With this. Yeah, getting an actual physical copy of Radiant Dawn is like 200 bucks, or 215 I think I checked like last week. Let's see what this village has to say. The commander of Caden's mage army is a youth called Elran. Although he is not a bad guy, he can be unreasonable. It seems he really hates Merrick. Oh yeah, the only person that could stop him is probably Bishop Wendell. Is this saying I need to bring Wendell with me? Uh, I need to bring Wendell with me, don't I? Okay. That to me sounds like I need to bring Wendell with me. I don't know about you, but I think we should bring him in. Drop the Switch port of Radiant Dawn, and you'll buy Switch 2. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo, give me a compilation of Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn on the Switch. Do that. Either that or Genealogy Remake. I'll take either. Go for that, go for that one, then or go to Valentia. Since you like to go for younger ones. Yeah, I think for right now, since you are 3DS and Switch, I would recommend going with either Awakening or Shadows of Valentia. 
again, engage is good gameplay wise, but story uh, story wise is uh, not good. But yeah, I can recommend those two for sure. All right, so if I were to bench someone else, honestly, I don't know if you Bell is actually gonna help me. So you're that or I bench Drog. Let's grab Wendell. All right, we'll try that. The game makes it seem like I need to bring Wendell with me. So we're gonna do that. Play GBA games, specifically FE6. Peak gameplay, clearly, clearly. Actually, uh, Sacred Stones is actually a good one to start with, if you want. It is one of the easier ones, but hey, like, as a first playthrough, it doesn't really matter what the first one is. Very easy to get into, it's a, it's self-contained, there's no sequel to it, so you don't need to worry about anything like that. Sacred Stones is a pretty fun game, as it is. Make a list. And there's a lot of Effie games you want to play. Exactly! Like, there's a lot of Effie games to consider. Uh... Again, part of it is just like, I don't know what your priorities are, and a, most of, a good chunk of them you're gonna have to just emulate anyway. Uh, strength, skill, weapon level, HP, dragon whip. Okay. We'll throw that in storage for now, but she's already getting close. Her weapon level and speed are capped, and skill is really getting, getting close. All of the shards here are meant to boost strength, and I think we'll keep them as is. Or I could swap one out with Leo. I don't know. Let's bring it over here. Uh, steel sword. Drop. Wendell, I think you need to go up here. You go over here to help out. You dance, Marth. He's currently at play. Well, we got about 35 seconds. Okay, Lind this way. Need both my archers over here. There we go. We're gonna keep Warren with the uh, Libra for now. Try to give him a bit more speed. The Ryan needs it too. But having three attacks speed helps. But yeah, uh, Rexy, uh, the first, the first six Fire Emblem games have not been released in America, and I specifically say the first six games, not counting, like, certain remakes, so you would have to emulate them. Granted, Fire Emblem 1 did get a Switch translation, but you can't buy it anymore, sadly. I don't get why. But yeah, if you wanted to play Fire Emblem 1 through 6 specifically, you would have to emulate them. Like, you don't have a choice on that one. Summer Byleth have a rework. Not only can you see Byleth and Rhea in a bikini, but they're also pretty good. I mean, if you don't have uh, Byleth and Rhea in bikinis, then what's the point, you know? What's the point of heroes if you can't just get swimsuits and outfits? Marth, you head this way. Let's see if Cecile can 
and maybe stop a thief or two. So, what's more important? The Sheeta, we're gonna have you go ahead and fight a thief. Some of the old ones are really expensive, especially Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Those two are really spendy right now. Actually, I'm not going to double anyway. So let's just use this. Uh, I actually own, like, physical copies of all the Fire Emblem games that made it to America. Sadly, though, my copy of Sacred Stones needs to be replaced because apparently when I bought it, I didn't know it didn't work in the first place because it's molded over. I still have it so I can show people, but yeah. Uh, so other than Sacred Stones, which I technically have the card, but it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, other than that, I have physical copies of every American release Fire Emblem game. Ryan? Yeah, I think I will. And since he's close to a level up, I'll have Warren trade over the Libra. Try to get some extra... Try to get some extra speed out of this. Uh, attack of 29. That's 14. And I do double. Or I could just use the steel bow. Uh, no matter what, it's not a one-hit KO anyway, so we'll just use the iron. It's fine. I would think uh, the two GBA Fire Emblem games in America are not bad to get. Pricing-wise, although I'm not sure. Fire Emblem gone up, has gone up in thrice in the more recent years for the older stuff. I remember when, like, the GBA ones were, like, 20 bucks each, like, a good 15 years ago when I bought mine. And hell, Radiant, uh, Path of Radiance was only $50. I'm so glad I bought Path of Radiance when I did. Let me look up GBA Fire Emblem. Uh, yeah, Path of Radiance is like 250 or... No, Path of Radiance right now, 213 for a complete copy. Yeah, that one's the spendy one. Uh, by the way, I am checking US Pal. Oh, uh, you're not from America. Where are you from, by the way? Because maybe some prices would be different. If you're looking for, like, a PAL copy, that would be, uh, probably different prices. Okay, if I get someone right here... Uh, I really can. Do this. Chile. Okay. Uh... I don't know uh, much about your versions of the game. Uh, if you were to be, if you were to end up getting a game, what version ends up, what and what version do you end up getting? Because when it comes to like, say, Path of Radiance here, uh, I see the options for just English, Japanese, and PAL. So I would think you would just get an English version, right? I, I would assume you just get the English ver versions of these games, right? Let's see you over. Oh yeah, where's PAL version? No, oh, PAL version is still about the same amount for Path of Radiance. It's the Japanese one that's actually not bad. Far? 
right over here, that's fine. Go up here, go up here. You should be fine. You still get the American versions. Okay. If you want Japanese versions, you have to go to specific stores. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you still get American copies, but yeah. So in that case, again, Path of Radiance, for a complete copy, you're still looking at $215. I am using US money, so I don't know what the conversion rate is. Uh, let's see, what do we got for Radiant Dawn, let's see. Radiant Dawn is 100 bucks for a complete copy. Not as bad. But I don't think Wii is nostalgic yet, so when Wii gets nostalgic, uh, that will probably go up. <laughs> Sacred Stones, here we go. Now, I don't know about you, but I only really care about loose copies of GBA games, so uh, $53 for a loose copy of Sacred Stones. It sucks as I paid 20 for mine and it didn't work. Okay, Shadow Dragon on the DS. It's a remake of Fire Emblem 1. Uh, sorry. Here. I'll let Sheeta go up here. Yeah, Shadow Dragon is for a complete copy is currently going for $70. Loose is about $40. You only care about the cartridge. Uh, let's see. So I saw that we're selling a copy of Radiance for twenty for thirty dollars USD. Damn. That sounds wrong, but that sounds very cheap. I assure you. Is that the full... Is that with the case and everything, or is that just the disc? Oh, let's see. I don't know where it's going like that. Did I pass through the GBA? Oh, the GBA one? I think I did. I think I missed a game. Where's the other GBA game? Player's Guide. Huh, the... I'm not finding the other GBA game at the moment. Looking face. Engage. Oh, it's right at the top. Uh, loose copy of Fire Emblem 7. $56, give or take. Yeah. That's kind of what we're looking at for English released uh, Fire Emblem games, at least of the stuff before the 3DS. The Switch. Bunch of mages. You have a steel. Why don't I get one of my archers in range? I can set someone... I only want to deal with that. I can set someone right here. Uh... Oh, you can't make it. Can Warren make it? Yeah, he can. I'll go ahead and let Ryan trade over Libra again. Get Warren here. With the box, the stores are usually run by older people who don't know much about video games. Damn. Uh, if ah, so they don't know. They clearly don't know what they have. If you say that Path of Radiance copy is an English copy with the disc, the box, and the manual, and even if it doesn't have. If that's all there, it's official for 30 USD, that is a steal. I paid mine, like, 15 years ago for $50 USD. 
and now it's going for over 200. That is a steal. <laughs> We got Capricorn. Okay. Hold on. What does that do? 20% boost in the HP. That is the best HP boost. 30% boost in weapon level. That is the best weapon level boost. Plus 10 in defense. Okay, that's okay. But minus 10 in both skill and speed. Alright, alright. Yeah, I guess if you really want some extra HP, Capricorn is not bad. Or if you really need to get weapon level. But then again, you can also use Virgo for weapon level. Oh, I don't have Virgo. Never mind. But honestly, weapon level wasn't that really that important. Uh, I asked, uh, I think, I asked someone to look at weapon levels for me. For, like, weapons. And other than a very specific staff, which you need to be at 20, like, the highest damaging, like, the highest weighted weapon is, like, 14 or something. So, like, weapon level is not really a problem. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, let's see. Just trying to go up and around while Mark is going that way. The window's just kind of here. I want to make sure. Just keep, have everyone keep moving. We're going to be dealing with reinforcements. Are right, telling them how much money you're missing by selling those names and she presses? But you don't want to have to donate anything for it. Yeah, you know. I would take I would take full advantage of it as possible because let's be honest, most people know what they're selling, and when you find someone that doesn't know what they're selling, and you're interested in that product, you should maybe consider taking advantage of it. Because again, you'd be selling a kidney just to get a copy. I would consider grabbing that as soon as possible. <laughs> Because again, that is a steal. I would consider it. I don't know if you have a GameCube, but even if you don't, if you're planning on getting one in the future or something, and you like own and you like actually owning your your media, you know, I would consider it. Granted, when I paid fifty dollars for mine, I think I was also. I think the strategy guy for it was thrown in. And if it wasn't, I only paid a little bit more for it. Not much. But I do have the strategy guy for Path of Radiance as well. The Amiibos are still expensive. I haven't looked into Amiibos in a long time. Uh, there's, there's a lot of Amiibos to keep up with. But yeah, like, there's a part of me that still wants to collect some Amiibos, but I just can't. Just Navarre left. Okay, There's definitely a bunch of ami amiibos that I do want to get. I think the Fire Emblem ones are also still pretty spendy. Yeah, he's not doubling, but kind of need to do what we can. Yeah, at least with Amiibos, though, I feel like you could probably just order from Japan and be okay. Because most of the time, unless you're, like, a true diehard collector, you're probably not gonna 
keep them in the box, so it doesn't really matter if the, if the text has Japanese on it anyway. It's going to work no matter what. So if you just care about the figure, maybe have to do some importing. I don't know. It's just a thought. It might end up being cheaper, too, depending on where you are anyway. Granted, I haven't really looked into buying Amiibos in a long time, so I'm not 100% sure that's actually the case. So we got Capricorn, and now we get a secret book. Okay, I'll take it. But shipping is too expensive, almost 50 to 60 USD. Ouch. That, yeah, that would make sense. At that point, you almost want to buy a few Amiibos to try to get the most out of your, get the most out of shipping, you know? I'm gonna let Warren attack this guy. for free shipping re weekends, uh, if that's even a, a thing that they do. Let's get Uber back. And you know what? Since I'm not really using the bar at the moment, let's go ahead and throw in Leo as well. That's an extra 50% chance to boost strength. He kind of needs it. Strength and speed are very important. Okay. Everyone else can kind of just wait. I want Brody right here instead. know we're going to be dealing with reinforcements soon. Just tuck it away. Come on, Ryan. You got this. Ah, you can't double? You still can't. Dang it. Alright, Sheeta's being attacked. And she can deal damage, that's for sure, but only two. Don't worry, she's got this. <laughs> Leafs are on the move. But I think Marth can get to the village before they can. Or no, he's close. Close to the village. Uh, you can't make it... You can't... Okay. I'm not worried about that. Sheeta! Or Katria. With the Silver Lance. Let's go for it. You got this, Katria. There we go. Going back to Elden Ring DLC. I thought you finished that. Level 17, strength, skill, and luck. I think I think skill went up by two. Hold on. It did go up by two. So skill's capped. Speed's capped. Weapon level's capped. So we're just working on strength, luck, defense, and res. <laughs> and she's not even promoted yet. 20 is still the cap no matter what. Final boss is a fanboy. Turns out he wasn't was affected by the god, but instead he... I feel like, as someone who hasn't played Elden Ring, I, uh, not having the context is kind of important. It's kind of important to have the context, isn't it? Dark Souls 1, and the 
have been the Soul Series since then. Okay. You guys, uh, you need to move this way. Kind of bad when you went through the desert. Okay, for you, let's go ahead and attack. Oh. So, yeah, attack speed to three. Oh, I, I see. Okay. It was just not going to happen no matter what. In that case, I should have had the Steel Bell equipped. Square up, someone's in range with the Draco Knight. So, with that in mind, I could put Navar in range. Or I could put Agma. Yeah, we could put Agma in range. We'll go ahead and trade the Libra. And I guess we'll go with Leo. It kind of cancer cancels out cancer a little bit. Uh, now instead of 50 boost to strength and defense, it's now 40. Because of the minus 10 from the other versions. And Libra was... Uh, I don't care about HP. So, plus 40% speed. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. So a little bit less chance for a for attack or defense, but we'll take it. Um, let's make sure... Yeah, the steel's equipped. Alright. Wants to start Age of Compassion and rid the old world. Just so he needed a concert. He used Rydon, but Gadahan chose war and now has brain damage. I feel like I'm still missing context. His sister has been pulled. His metaphorical sword was crippled from the fight, too, so she can't go for now, too. Sounds like I just need to play over here. Up here's fine. Oh, wait, did Julian move? He has not. He's basically done. Uh, for now, let's grab this. Huh? Princess Minerva? What are you doing here? My brother, Macalus, rescued me. Really? That's great! When I heard you were taken by Prince, Prince Macalus, I was very worried. But he actually saved you. I wonder what he's thinking. Macalus' life was saved by my by Maria. Maria was a, is a gentle child, unlike me. Even a man like him could be moved by Maria's gentle heart. But you also hoped for that. And that's why you didn't finish him off, right? Oh. I understand. The bond between siblings cannot be torn so easily. Princess Minerva, please look up. You don't need to worry about me. I already left some trusted people to begin its reconstruction. I hope that you can fight together with us. To crush Hardin's ambitions, I wish to borrow Medon's and your strength. And we have Minerva. An Iron Spear, a Worm Slayer, and she comes with the Virgo Shard. That one is plus 20 weapon level, plus 30 resistance. That's the best one for resistance. But minus 10 defense. So that's something to consider. Do I have them all? I don't know if I have them all. 
for right now, I don't think I will use Minerva. I've been training uh, Catriel a lot, and I feel like she is going to be still useful because she'll probably have to talk to people like an FE1. So right now, I'm just kind of thinking prioritizing these two. For now, let's go ahead and continue using Catria. We'll use the brain rushing powers on Blood God. His whole plan is to use Blood God's body right for Radon to die to get a soul and merge with them to bring back the young Radon. Huh. He's in the process of starting a new age, however, this goes directly against the current age. And your goal as the DLC is you're going to find him and, just, and bring demise to this age. I feel like I would understand more if I played the if I actually played the game. It, it it seems like the souls stuff has a lot of lore that like I feel like is more understandable when you actually play it. Alright. I think I'm gonna hand the KO to Agma. Because he did so well. And Agma's a champ. Level 18, speed, defense, and HP. Okay. Elden Ring is Dark Souls games or not? Okay. So. Is that really due be because of what's his name? George R. R. Martin being a part of the plot? Is that really, like, mostly the reason why it's like that? Well, at least we got some defense. I'll take it. Oh! I'll probably get some stat boost for class changing. Okay, we are... Add. Okay. 61. Then I can have you go right here. You can roadie there to That should be done. Jar Jar Armani helped with the lore. Isn't as hidden as the Souls games were. The themes of the Soul games is that you are a nobody and everybody is, has their own agenda, so they lie to you or don't. Right. So it sounds like it's complicated because of George R. R. Martin. I see. Uh, not much else left. Still waiting for potential reinforcements to show up. in range. He's fine. Ahead. There we go. Level 12. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level. Anything else? Nothing yet. Okay, here. Let me look. His strength is 12, his speed is 9. And yeah, we need as much speed as possible because these bows are heavy now, slowing him down. Where's... Oh, no. Yeah, 
I didn't really think about this, but Agma is going to get some stat boost for class changing. So that will definitely help them. But I still think I want to try to boost strength and defense as much as possible for these next two levels. So you aren't exactly a no one. You were chosen by the Thunder Souls. He was abandoned. Okay. He was revived. And are told by different people what you must do to fix the lands. Can you get the KO to steal? Yes. Can you level up? No. Harry, no, you're not. So, if I send you down here... Well, we're probably going to be dealing with a Draco Nightmare in a second. I'll go ahead and let you attack. One more attack will let you have it. Oh, I thought the mage would have been lured over. Bring Katria over here. Oh, uh, now you're in range of a lot of enemies. That was a mistake. I'll leave you here. I'll bring Minerva closer. And Marth will go ahead and head over here as well. So sending you this way was a mistake. Down here, let's see. Oh, wait. I gotta be careful. Is there a way I could get this guy moved and not the one on top? If I go here? If I go there? Yeah, okay. So I could set Ogma there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal him up. plans to destroy the world and put his in place. His plan revolves around using mass mind control, honestly. What route did I take in Three Houses? So, I played when it first came out. I went with Black Eagles, Edelgards, because honestly, the, the promotions were heavily utilizing Edelgard, and honestly, having a female lord, had, like, we don't have many female lords, so I went with Edelgard. Sadly, though, that was before the update, so Black uh, Black Eagles wasn't as fleshed out. Sadly, it was weird. And then I eventually did a playthrough with uh, Golden Deer. But, like, I did the first half of the game. And then I took a long break before continuing the rest of that part of the game. And then, so I eventually finished Golden Deer. I did start a uh, Blue Lions run, but I made it to the first. I made it through the first half of the game, and then I stopped, and I haven't gone back since. Scythia, having a hard time with you. In blue, Ryan? Uh, so, I have not recruited anyone outside their own houses. I was kind of staying with the base units that you kind of get. Ooh, we got strength. We got speed weapon. Good. Now, uh, now she can heal better. Because she got a strength boost. No, I, I kind of kept everyone, uh, like, within their own house. Because after a certain point, it's just too many units to consider, and you're benching everyone else anyway. So I wasn't worried about that. But if you're trying to recruit someone else from a different house, you need to boost their support level up. That's what you need to do. So, like, use the facilities to boost friendship and support with that character. And if you're playing New Game Plus and you already have a high support rank, you can just basically pay for the support rank. 
save Lysithia and Heroes. Kind of wish she didn't fall off so hard. Lysithia is a good, was a fun unit to use. And here's the, mm, okay. Here we go. There's the reinforcements. Man, I expected them. Yeah, uh, to recruit people from other houses, you need to have a high support level. Unless you're t trying to recruit Sylvain, then you just need to be female by 11. And he'll join you immediately. Yeah, Mark Dodge, he's actually a good unit. Oh, he dodged one attack, that's all that matters. I need a new steel lance. And Agma got a crit. Perfect. Can you can you handle this? Mm. No, you can't. Okay. One second. Yeah, that's a death. I guess you know, it was rigged. There we go. Alright. Slow run so far. Rody can't handle this. Okay. These are heroes. They are very strong. Honestly, Agma probably has the best shot to win. But if I'm using him to take out Draco Knights, that's, uh, or lure out Draco Knights. Hmm. Granted, I did take that section really slow, so that is a factor. However, I still don't even know if I even need Wendell in the first place. Um... Let's go ahead and grab uh, the hero's crest for him, because he is close to leveling up. He could probably do it. Is someone else close? Um, Katria won't make it. That's, the, that's really it. It's really just Katria. And, like, she's still got a few levels to go. Alright. Okay. So... Julian go over here again. We're gonna have Mark go over there again. So is the levels on the upside? I don't know what I'm saying. Uh so Rhodey is a level nine calf, and he was fighting a hero. You know, a promoted unit, so that was part of the problem. I feel like out of this section over here, Agma is like the only one that could potentially survive dealing with heroes. So I may end up uh, swapping things around. Maybe have maybe have Drog lure the Draco Knights or something, and then let's. 
the archers get the kills. 16 strength, skill, and luck. Skill is a plus two. And we could probably keep Agma here and have him deal with all the all the snipers and the heroes, maybe. However, I think I'll let Agma go ahead and deal with the first Wyvern Knight. Try to get through some speed. Bad. We don't have a Worm Slayer. We'll probably do this. Ryan will get close. Drop will go here. And I guess my both my calves will go over here. Maybe I could get my calves to lure out the other Draco Knights. Or Navarre. Like some, someone like that. This chapter so far wasn't that bad until the reinforcements showed up. Then we're in trouble. And I didn't even catch if any of them was Astro. I didn't even catch that. And if any of them are Astro, we probably need to keep them alive. And yeah, Ogma, get the crit. So far, this chapter isn't that bad. Like, it could be a lot worse. Maybe if I could try to find a way to speed it up a bit. Julian, you go down here. Mark, you go this way. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Shido grab this one. I'm thinking once Katria promotes, we don't need to prioritize her for a little while, so then we can focus on powering up Sheeta. I'm thinking that will probably be okay, because Katria has a lot of strength bo boosting shards. Because that was Sheeta's problem in Book 1. She just didn't have the power to back it up. And now with, uh... Opens far away chess. And Melissa could use it. So she can use the Thief Staff. Okay. Which is only to open treasure chests. Okay. We'll consider that. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. You're close. We'll go ahead and let you grab the KO. He's gonna need, like, a new weapon. Maybe I should have swapped out a steel sword for him. Level 18, strength, luck, weapon level, defense, and HP. That's good. That's good for him. Again, two more levels will be capped for any of the mages in range. Not really. Okay. So he's right here. Two squares away. So what I can currently do... No, I can't move you there. Dang it, my archers are not in range. I might as well just go ahead and do this. Get them off. 
right here. There's a bunch of mages here, and I want to try to give them to my archers as much as possible. So too bad. It's too bad Ryan only has like five movements. He really needs some extra movement. Okay. Even then, you can't make it. What a waste. Fine, we'll let Lind have this. She did last time, she could level up. Yeah, Lind needs strength anyway. Because don't you know, magic gets boosted by your physical strength. That's how magic always works. Weapon level and defense. That is a good level up. That's a really good level up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Mark, you continue to head up. Cheetah, go ahead and grab the KO here. Actually, you could probably just. We could just use an iron. It's not a big deal. Oh yeah, hot corn dog. Uh, I know I still haven't played uh, a Dark Souls game yet, and I know I plan to at some point. Ooh, we got strength, skill, and speed. Weapon level, HP. That's good. Uh. But if you recall my Kingdom Hearts level 1 run, I, I, it's, it was already like Dark Souls, ready to go. It was prepping me for it. Like that, doing that level 1 run was really just like Dark Souls light. If I really want to speed up taking out the mages, I just get Lind in range of a good chunk of them. If I really wanted to prioritize getting rid of mages and try to speed through it. But I do think Ogma will be able to defend himself.
Okay. Uh, I think I want to prioritize getting one of these Draco Knights moved. So I'm going to start heading more this way. Ryan can level up, so we're doing this. I'll probably have Navarre get in range of a Draco Knight. Yeah, I think I'll let Navarre handle that next time. We'll see, hold on. Uh, you have an attack of 20. Defensive 8. You'll, yeah, Navarre will survive, so probably give him, like, the killing edge equipped. Yeah, we could probably do that. And... You know what? I'm gonna let Warren go over here. And he's gonna equip the Iron Bow so he doesn't KO. and grab the sucker book. Mars moved, catch this, she was moved. We're probably fine. Uh, the next time an ad pops up, which I think it will be soon, I'm gonna refill my water. Oh, Ryan had the iron equipped. I thought he had steel. Oh wow, it's not a big deal. Actually, it kind of is. Yeah, yeah you're attacking Sheeta. I'm not surprised. Come on, Sheeta, you can dodge this. Well, you lure them over. That's all you can really do. Probably have Sheeta take out a thief. Mark, can I get close again? Catria with silver. Catria, you got this. Oh, actually, she doesn't. Yeah, she needed a crit. She would have needed a crit. Sheeta. Uh, with the steel. No, with the silver. There we go. There, she is fine. And Marth will get to the, the village in the next turn. We get Minerva. Don't worry about that. Julian, just head off, I guess. Over here. I messed up. And I want Navarre to... Go ahead and grab your kill. Dark Souls 1 becomes very easy once you learn how to parry. Is that the case for any Dark Souls game, or is that a Dark Souls specific thing where parry is overpowered? Of course you get a crit. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you get a crit? It's not like you could have used it last time. Level 11. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level. Good. You got strength and speed. That's what I care about. Alright, Navar, your turn. Let's grab all this. Let's equip the killing sword. Wait. You know 
what? We're gonna help you talk about with that. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave everyone else alone. Ryan doesn't need healing just yet. What about Warren? Can I get him healed? Yeah, I can get him healed. He could use it. Yeah, I'm hoping Ogma will uh, be able to defend himself against the the heroes. He's strong enough. I think he has the stats to survive. Oh, I should probably top off his HP. That would help. Let's get you down here. Okay. And if he caps out, we can class change him right now, and that will make him even better. I, be I better work on his HP soon. gonna step away for a second. That's playing anyway. But yeah, I do have a the ad, the ads are done. I do have an archive channel on YouTube, and as Hot Corn Dog just did, he just uh, posted a link. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you if you have scroll if you have scrolled down a little bit, there should be like some panels or a link in the about page as well. So I have a few links. Let's go ahead and get Minerva. But yeah, that's where all of the archive streams are. If they're not on Twitch, they're on there. Village just use it up in action by itself. Wow, Marth, you can't hit the thief? It 
does link to you. That should link. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's right. It does link there. Uh, thanks, Retsy. Yeah, like, anything that I have done gets moved over there. Like, basically, when the video gets automatically deleted off Twitch, I have it uploaded on YouTube. There. Like, on the same day. Or that's when it goes live, anyway. You know what? I think I'll give Ogma the KO. Look. An attack of 18. Oh, never mind. I just lured him out. That's all I really did. Okay. Uh, okay. Warren's getting it. We are going to trade. Okay. And we're going to attack. Attack of 28. 14. No. Wait, can I double? I can double. So Ogma had a better chance of taking out Draco Knights. Parry matters more for newer games like Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and Elden Ring. And we got speed and defensive HP. Good. It's easy to parry, so it's a way people play to get through a boss or something. Dark Souls 2 parrying is kind of hard to do. It's much more different. So, really, it sounds like Dark Souls 2 is the odd one out when it comes to parrying. So it seems like the other games are, like, parrying is a good strat. Hmm. Okay, first, I want to heal Agma. Just cap him off. Do that. Next, I think I want Ryan in range of this guy. Yes. So we go ahead and equip the steel bell. I might as well trade stuff over, not that it really matters. I think I'll keep it on VAR. I was going to give it to Ryan, but he's not going to level up from this kill anyway. Yeah, he's not going to level up from that KO anyway. So, like, Navar is going to be fighting a Draco Knight next anyway, and he won't level up, but he'll, uh, he'll get close. So it's better that he has the shards at the moment. Almost a level up. I almost want to give her the, the strength boosting stuff. I think everyone else is fine. Uh, I can lure a mage over. Yeah, I might do that. What's your attack? Six. What's your res? Six. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can lure you over. Although with a res of six, I doubt it'll, I, I doubt that major move. I don't think I caught that actually. Yeah, I did not catch this. It works out. Okay, Ryan, you got it. I still think if I'm going to stream a Souls game first, it'll probably be Bloodborne. That's pretty self-contained. And it's like an older game, so it's probably cheaper to get. Unlike Elden Ring. And 
like I said, I would need to play on console. And I'm kind of leaning towards Bloodborne being the first one I try out on stream whenever I get around to it. You can click the attack button and you'll do a crit animation that does a ton of damage to the enemy. Dark Souls 2, when you parry, you gotta wait for the enemy to fall down or be in a position of weakness, and then you can do the crit. Because we're used to it. Hmm. So the parry itself doesn't open up, open them up for attack. You have to wait for them to actually fall down. Okay. Far, you're ready. Attacked. Ogma, you're ready. To, you're ready to go. Do I want Sheeta? Is your guy six? Is your attack seven? Do that. And I guess I might as well let Sheeta lure this one over. I gotta be careful about that one. I'll probably give... I'll probably end up giving Katria the worm. Uh, oh, wor oh, no, that's the sword. Okay, duh. Instead of crit, you'll do a basic attack, and then they'll recover from the parry state. Okay. Course. Well, Marsh should be fine. Yeah, five damage, I'm not worried about it. Alright, Navar. You got this. You have a 38% chance to crit. There you go. There you go, Navar. Perfect. Too bad it's still only 10 EXP out of it. But hey, he got two crits. I'll take it. has a better chance of surviving this. Yeah. He's gonna need healing. He's gonna need constant healing. But Ogma can protect us. We look down here. Is that Astrum? Yes, it is. He's still chasing us. I still have a feeling we can't recruit him. Right? Do we still just have to ignore him? Or can Minerva talk to him? Astrum, where? Hey, Juice, how's it going? Uh, uh, reinforcements just showed up, and now I have to deal with Astrum. Again. Uh, I still don't know if we I can even recruit him in this chapter. My only guess is Minerva can talk to him, but I don't know. Uh, hey, Juice, uh... Do you know where Astrum is, like, his allegiance? Like, where was he from? Is he an Arcanaean, just in general? So if I were to attack with the Killing Edge, attack with 18, I can get the KO. You were lurking a bit yesterday, but suddenly got busy and watched the VOD. 
Yeah, I... I needed the other green-haired archer. But again, that village is all the way near the top, so the fact that they put it there is very annoying, you know? If that village, if the house that was closer to me said that, I could have maybe brought Gordon a lot sooner. But it was already near the end when the house told me to bring in a different archer. Attack of 20, defense of 8, that's 12. Navar will survive. And since he's close to a level, I'm going to give him the level. You're such a champ, Navar. Level 12, strength. Speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. That's exactly. Astrum is from Archimedes. So, talking to him with Minerva isn't going to solve anything. I think I'm better off just healing Magma. Actually, no one will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heal. Wait, hold on. Uh, strength of five. Fourteen. Yeah, okay, yeah, a heal. Just a basic heal should be enough. Ogma's here just to... just to tank. But yeah, it seems like I still need to just kind of avoid Astrum still. That's just kind of what it seems like. Defense and HP. Oh, she didn't get any strength. Now she's not going to heal as well. That's close enough. But yeah, I think I just need to continue to ignore Astrum. Past few chapters are like an extended chase thing against her escape. Yeah, that is true. This is all just an escape. It is... It, it's a good theming for a set of chapters. The bridge map was cut from book one, but... Yeah, exactly. Which... At least they kept it in book two. So, I'm okay with that. They found a way to keep that bridge map. At least, yeah, at, at least you still get to keep playing the map. I think that's why they were okay with cutting that particular map out in book one. Because they basically still had it in book two. You know what, I'll go ahead and let Mug have this one. Let's give him... Let's see, I can only carry three. Uh, not Taurus. So I think... Gemini for strength. Aquarius for strength. And Scorpio for strength. Yeah. Try to really utilize all my level ups. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level, and HP. Mark's getting some good levels. Look at that. He only has eight to go, and he's already almost capped on strength. But if you look, Catcher is very close. Guy yeah, from County noticed you were playing Pokemon Go and it turned out he was two in level 50. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, I haven't really been playing Pokemon Go. I kind of lost interest, but I'm like level... No, I am level 40. But sadly, I didn't get to level 40 soon enough. But 
yeah, Catria is doing very good. Uh, she's almost capped on skill. On my previous attempt, she got capped. And she's almost capped on luck. We're gonna be dealing with a swarm soon. I'm gonna have to somehow deal with this. Yeah, but it also just makes stat capping a lot easier to the point where it's like, am I really playing the game as intended? Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this guy in a second. I'm gonna need to fully heal Navar. I can move forward. Don't think I could do much else at the moment. Yep, that's about all I think. That makes sense though. The game specifically never tells you what they actually do. And if you're a game designer, I probably wouldn't want to actually tell you anyway. I didn't realize. Well then, I didn't realize they could cross the river. Oh, that's actually worse than I thought. Well, that's a reset. That's a reset. I didn't realize they could cross the river. I thought I was doing fine. Ba boom! I need to get like a little animations for some of these sound effects. I feel like it would make them play more interesting. Oh! Doggo time, no sound effects, obviously, but that means Molly wants to be on screen. Molly, come here! Come here! You're wanted! You can't hide from me, get over here. Come on. No, I'll hold on. Come here. Come here, girl. Watch it. Girl, watch it. On screen. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We got Molly. Yes, she is wanted on screen. That's what that uh, thing is for. Gotta get her on screen because the, the, the people want you, Molly. People want to see you. People want you on camera. Yes. How's Molly doing? Molly's doing fine. She's just kind of chilling. She's just chilling. Just give her a. I usually just give her bones, and she just kind of lays about in here while we. She's doing fine. She's doing good. She's doing really good. She thinks this is a little weird, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, oh, there we go. That's a little better. Yes. She got a, she got a trim the other day, so she we, uh, cut her hair. We still need to do nails, though. Oh, yeah. How's it going on your end, Sydney? How's it going? I don't know what else to do with Molly, other than just make sure she gets on screen. I mean, no, she was just sitting by the door. She was just sitting by the door, she's fine. She wasn't sleeping. No, all good. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. I just waited. Right, right Molly? <laughs> Everything got confused. So, 
try this again. Things on my end. It's going fine. This is currently my third attempt at this chapter. I thought I had a plan, but it turns out the enemies can cross the river. So now I gotta change things a little bit. Maybe I need to have Lind attack way more often. Because right now, uh... So, here's the thing, Sydney. I'm slowly taking out these mages and Draco Knights as I come across them, and that's not the problem. It's that there are reinforcements that show up down here, and they are very strong. I had someone here as at a choke point. Uh, I had someone here at a choke point to uh, deal with them, but it turns out they could cross the river, and they killed uh, Fina. They killed Fina. Because I didn't realize they could cross this river. So, yeah, it was just a plan that didn't work out. So now I'm thinking, instead of focusing on my archers, I may just focus on Lind, because she can fight back against these mages. And it will make things go a little bit faster. Thank you, Simi. Thank you. Now, Katria, go up here. Go ahead and get rid of this one. And Katria got a crit. <laughs> kind of getting upset that this is the third reset. Level 16, Strength, Skill, and Luck. Yeah, Katria is so far turning out to be one of my better units stat-wise. She's almost capped out. As well as... Ogma. But Ogma's just a good unit in general. Oh wait, I want to give him some... Uh, more of these shards. But yeah, we are currently on chapter... Chapter 9. Out of like 20 something. Of book two, anyway, I should say. Yeah, uh, we're in book two, Sydney, and book two takes place one year after the events of book one, where one of our allies now turned evil and is uh, like destroying cities, massacring people and villages. Just causing a bunch of problems, and we don't know why he's turned evil. You follow me last. Oh, you're talking about Juice, right? Yeah, I don't think Juice has streamed in a little while. Still waiting for you to finish Diamond and Pearl, Juice. saw a Deadpool in Wolverine. Very nice. What'd you think of it, Juice? I too have already saw it. I know I'll probably see it again at some point, just don't know when. You got out at 1am. That's about normal, though. Oh, work night. That's annoying. Yeah, it was very fun. Streaming soonish. It's not gonna... Well... That's not going to happen for a little while. Give it a couple months. But it is Disney, so it will definitely go on streaming before they put it on Blu-ray or anything. But, uh... Yeah, no, and I was re-watching the first two Deadpool movies. And I have to say, I think Deadpool 3 is one of the most fun ones. Uh... But the plot of 3 doesn't have too much substance to it. Whereas 2 is probably the worst out of the 3, but at least the story has a little bit more going on with it. But still, 3 is really fun to watch. Hopefully stream soon. 
Yeah, you still gotta finish Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I honestly thought that uh, the whole character of Paradox feels like an allegory for Disney itself. <laughs> because Paradox is all like, we are, the higher-ups want you in this universe, and we are, I am reluctant to bring you in. Feels like Disney saying, we bought Fox for X-Men and Fantastic Four, but we got you as well. Three was a love letter to the old Fox movies. Yeah, exactly. That was that was nice about it. That was really nice. Was iron. And the whole like anchor point or the anchor person whole plot point feels like an allegory for Tony Stark. <laughs> It's like, as soon as this anchor beam dies, the universe slowly dies. Like how they killed off Tony Stark and the MCU hasn't been doing good since then. And honestly, this whole... The whole TVA side plot with Paradox feels like an allegory to what Disney's feeling at the time. But yeah, it was a nice goodbye to the Fox characters. And you could see it when they did the whole, like, behind-the-scenes stuff uh, during the ending credits. You could tell that's what they were going for. Oh, uh, that's the Ganondorf dance. Yeah, I've watched uh, Terminal Montage. I think I'll go ahead and let Ryan grab this KO. No, no, I'll, I'll let Ryan have it. I'll wait for the ad to finish. Strength, speed, luck, defense, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say something here in a sec. I, I, it's not a good one. Uh, okay, yeah, I think it'll be a good idea to have Wind take care of everything. Can I get... No, can I get someone right... Yes, okay, we can get this one. Okay, uh, it looks like the ad ended. But yeah, uh, the whole anger beam makes absolutely no sense when you really think about it. Because the universe is only dependent on one, one person? Well, does that mean the universe doesn't exist before that character is born? Does the universe start when that character is born? And why is there only one anchor beam? Again, it feels like an allegory for uh, just, like, the MCU. Like, if you think about it. They killed off Tony Stark? MCU movies have been doing well because they got rid of their anchor beam. <laughs> but yeah, have a good day, Sid. No, it's a plot point that makes absolutely no sense. Not only that, it contradicts with what the, the well, not the anger beam per se, but uh, the plot also contradicts what the second Doctor Strange movie established about multiverses, or multiple or parallel universes or something. Like in that movie, they explained that if you're not from that particular universe, 
like if you're found out to not be from there like you're like the universe is just trying to kick you out or something it, there was something like that like established in that movie and that at the end of the movie Logan freaking joins up with uh, Deadpool in that universe and stays there so it's like how does that work it makes no sense Yeah, Deadpool 3 is one of those things where the more you think about the plot, the less it makes sense. But it is definitely a fun time. As for sure. I mean, skill, speed, luck, defense. Ooh, good levels. I mean, when you have the masterpiece that is Logan, do you really need more? They can't top that. There's no way they can top Logan. And going forward, it's Disney, so there's no way they're going to be able to top Logan. It's an impossible task. It can't be done. That's a movie I need to rewatch soon anyway. I know Deadpool 3 is definitely a lot of fun. I will definitely be watching it again. Some skill speed, luck, defense, and HP. No attack, but we did get defense. So I'll take it, even though she desperately needs attack. Okay. At this point, I think it'll be best to just have Wind take out the mages as fast as we can. I think that'll be for the best, instead of trying to take down, like, enemies one at a time. Taking too long, and we need to avoid Astro. Go ahead and let Magma go here. If we need to keep moving, then I might as well. I, then I don't really need to block the path. This chapter isn't that bad. Alright. Honestly, if they wanted to make this chapter even harder, they would have the reinforcements come in sooner. Like, if they really want to be mean to you. the silver equipped, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, I figured. And we get a crit. Perfect. Level 17, strength, skill, defense, and HP. Marthy, keep moving. 
Julian? Do you get all the shards by the end of this chapter? Because it feels like I do. If I'm, I might be missing one though, so I don't need a direct answer for that. I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe I should take the opportunity to have Katria get in range of this dragon. Just, we are going to get more X-Men movies. This is just going to be made by Disney. And Ryan Reynolds is not going to stop Disney from doing whatever they want. So, yeah, you're going to get your X-Men. It just may be X-Men that you don't want. Yeah, you know what? We'll let Lind handle this right now. Lind will be able to get rid of a bunch of mages. Gonna use up a lot of aura, but I could bring Hammond. There's not much you can really do about that. I still haven't... There's a lot of things I need to watch. I haven't really watched anything in a little while. I just get distracted by video games. And YouTube. Level 8. Strength, skill, speed, luck, defense. Perfect. Lind is getting some good levels right now. Her magic is going to be even more powerful. She needs it. Yeah. Whenever I watch a show that I haven't seen before, I don't want to really do anything else because I could easily be distracted and not be paying attention. So it almost needs my full fo focus. Or, you know, watch while I'm eating, right? But... I just get distracted by YouTube so easily when I'm just, you know, wanting to watch something while I eat. Wasting aura, but we're making it work. Ah, one more KO. Just one more attack in general. Okay. Marth will make it there. Another turn. And Sheeta? No, she can't. I'll go ahead and let Katria just grab a KO. Okay, yeah, you're not getting a level. Yeah, she's so close. She is so close. Okay, so next... We're gonna be fighting this guy. And since I'm not gonna be worried about blocking the river, I'm gonna let Ogma deal with this. Right here. The steel's equipped. Let's go ahead and try. 
trade him all of this. And look at that! She's got an extra point in strength or two. No, just one extra point in strength. But yeah, she she's getting more stats. It's useful. Now if we can else No, her speed's okay. But oh, it's that aura is super weak, that's why. Or super heavy. That's that's the term. Jeez, with aura, if I have max speed, we're probably only talking about an attack speed of 14. Although 14's really good. She really needs strength. Uh, might as well heal. One second. Give me a minute. I'm going to step away for just a second. probably have Katria deal with this dragoon. And I need characters to start moving. What is your range? Honestly, like, I'm not much. At least Navarre's out of range. Not much I could really do. Again, the village suggested a, said something about bringing Wendell over, so that's why I have him. Yeah, so the village said something about like the the boss like willing to talk to Wendell or something. I don't think he's recruitable though. I think it just might be some conversation or something. So yeah, I brought Wendell in. Is that it? Julian, you keep moving. It's those two. Okay. You got this. I already know you got this. You're the champ. Okay, no crits. It's gonna go to one of my archers. But at least we lured him over, and that's all I cared about. Okay. Well, hey, Minerva, you're here now? Would you like to join me? Okay, I will. By the way, can I take that Worm Slayer off of you? You're not gonna use it. I, I, I guess. If only I had that Worm Slayer at the beginning of this chapter, it'd be way more useful. Come on. I could let Marth have it, but I don't want it. Come on, Katria, you got this. I know. The, it's the best fan translation you've ever heard, clearly. Okay, so... I am going to let Ryan have the KO. I'm gonna go ahead and trade all this over. I 
think the iron... Uh, yeah, let's use the iron. And we get a crit. That works. Strength, skill, speed, luck. So, you know how most people have the argument of, like, promote at level 20 or promote at 10? Like, there's all those arg arguments. I can see the argument of actually promoting sooner because you have these shards to boost your stats. But if your stats are pretty mediocre, like here, maybe you tried to use the shards to boost up your stats a bit and then promote. But for someone like Ogma, honestly, he could probably promote right now and still be okay. Right, let's see if I can get both mages in range. That's going to happen. I should have had Katria. I, I think I should have had Katria get in range of this guy. However, one thing I can do. I'm so glad I could double trade. Like that. Okay, I am getting close to the point where we can, we can start moving. Just kind of having to wait here. Actually, you know what I could do? Sheeta hasn't been hit yet. She'll be fine. So I'm thinking of how Sheeta go ahead and lure the Draco Knight over. Get you right here. Yes. So let's go ahead and equip the silver. Lure him over. That'll help. Anyone else? Julian. Yeah, keep moving. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to ignore Astro. If he's recruitable, it's probably going to be later. Oh no, two damage. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, at level 14, maybe closer to 17 if the user got lots of XP or it's always close to Ooh, strength, speed, and weapon level. You used to never promote at 20. You see, I, I am someone that always promotes at 20. Try to get the most out of my stat gains. I am... There's a part of me that's trying to lessen up on that a little bit. I said a part of me. But... Because I'm just like, oh, let's get the use out of my stat gains, you know? Every point helps, right? Uh, Katria have this. Good. Level 18, strength, skill, defense, and HP. Look at her stats. Look at them. Strength of 15. Luck of 20, defense of 12, resist of 6. And she's just going to get some stat boost for, upon promotion, too. That's ridiculous. Katria is going to be capped. Okay. I'm not necessarily worried about this mage. V has changed a lot, so it's much easier to... So much of it used to be a limit on chapters. Now, like every chapter you can play, is so many side quests. Exactly. There's like... 
There are many ways to boost your stats and level up nowadays. Might as well get everyone in your core team to 20. Exactly. Exactly, especially since in this case, because we have the... Because we have these, we can we can modify what stats we get at an easier rate. So might as well try to cap out on 20 on all my stats, which means... Which means you would want more level ups to try to get. To try to utilize to get as many of these as to 20 as possible. Okay, so I gotta be a little careful. But next we're gonna try to lure him over. And just hit him. So how's my word we're looking at? It could be be when you got your copy of Mystery the Emblem, everyone was max level? So the previous Japanese player played lots of the arena. Oh, yeah. Wait, you actually own a uh, Japanese copy? Try to get here. I can do that. Let's top off his HP there. Arena is not very nice this game, but I think it's the most brutal arena. It's this is the most brutal arena? How so? I, I messed around with it on uh, one of the earlier chapters. But how is it the most brutal? Yeah, I tried to get some characters a few levels from the arena, especially Sheeta. I gave Sheeta a few levels, but this was before I re I knew exactly what the shards did. This was the chapter when you first meet George and you basically ignore him. Oh, that's not good. I didn't think he was in range. Well, at least Ryan dodged. At least he dodged. Okay. This is not really good. Cheetah, go ahead. Just... Yes, one hit KO it. I don't care. I want him out of here. Hmm. I was gonna say, what if I use Return on Marth, but I needed you mean enough to do that. You just need to keep moving. Uh, Minerva, I'll let you go up here and visit this house. 
if you continue north from here, there are no more shops. Be sure to make enough preparations if you're going. Alright, uh, Katria, I guess we'll go here. What do you say? The Sword Slayer deals great damage to mercenaries and, hero and heroes. You should try to get your hands on one. Man, if only I had something like that over here. Speaking of Sword Slayers. Come on, Agma. You were supposed to fight him in the first place. Get your crit. That works. He's gonna need a new steel sword. Alright, Ryan, go ahead, grab your KO. I'm gonna have Lind go over here. We're going to trade. And I'm gonna dance Lind up. Try to deal with these mages, or at least one of them. They're already on another ad break. gonna stand a chance. You gotta do that. I need to get my other units moving. Looks like the ad's ended. Wait, who are you attacking? Okay. I can live, I can live with this. Good, we dodged. And let's see. I think Ogma just might need to stand his ground at the fort. Of course you get the crit on the second attack. Alright, we got the speed ring. That's good. Send that to storage. Lind? I don't think Lind is going to do all that well. Go 
let's take a look. An attack of 24. So we're talking 14. But I can double. I'd rather have him out of here. I want him out of here. Get the crit. Okay, good. Level 10. Strength, skill, speed, luck, weapon level. And that's it. That's a good, that's a good level. He's get, she's getting more strength. That's good. Right. Everyone else just needs to move. Oh, you don't talk to him. But what was the point of bringing Wendell? Juice, am I missing something? This villager said something about Wendell. Wait, no, Navar needs to back up. Agma, you need to stand your ground. Brody, I guess you're, you're going here. I mean, I don't think he needs to be recruited or anything, but I just don't see why... Unless this all this village was really talking about was really just lore. Unless that's all it was for. Which I'm fine with that. Up here. Let's see. What is in this shop? Okay, let's see. We could buy silvers, we could buy a slim lance, we could buy a silver lance, we could buy steel. Oops. I need to do my shopping very carefully because I have like no money. Okay. No, I don't think I need any of those. Thunder, Blizzard, Elf, Fire, Heal, and Mend. Uh, it did tell good info. Then what am I missing? I'm okay, so I'm probably gonna buy Lind a uh, Blizzard Tower from Dragons. Do that right now. Yeah. I think I'll buy another heal staff. It's nice to have a spare. I like I have no money. Alright. Let's see. I don't need iron swords. I think I'm fine on the killer. It's the silver, but I can only get one. You know what? I'm just gonna buy... I think I'm gonna buy just slim lances. Just let me look. Your slim lance is broken, so you need a new one. And we can't buy steel. Yeah. He can't be talked to, I figure. But what was the point of... Let's just do that. That'll be enough. Then... What was this village talking about? You know what? Can I figure out what that village was specifically talking about? Without, uh... Spoiling myself. I kind of want to know what just the villager said. Uh, I'm not really 
really finding anything. I'm not really seeing like what the villager said. I don't know if there's anything I could do. time. Linda will help. Okay, maybe it's just not due to this chapter. Uh, what else can I do? Julian, I guess we'll just have him move. Alright. Agma's just gonna have to stand his ground. You dare trespass this temple. Unforgivable. Earth, punish them. Bulgadon. Are you kidding? I was doing fine. Yeah. If she was at full health. She would have been able to handle it. I don't... Mm, I thought I'd be able to beat this chapter, and I came so close. But no. That's not possible. I really should have checked the amount of damage she could do. Sadly, I can't really continue. I got stuff to do. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that aren't on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube. That's about 64 stream archives. There's a link in the about page. Yeah, I was hoping to beat this one, but it turns out I can't. We'll get it tomorrow. Have a good day. Later. Yeah, I got some stuff to do.